What's up YouTube? It's Justin for Party Rental Knowledge. Today's video I'm going to show you a little bit about trailer maintenance and truck maintenance. It's a good time to do it in the winter for me. Some people do it in the beginning of spring. I want to push bounce houses and party rental stuff then, so I'm doing it right now. I'm also doing it before there's like six feet of snow on the ground, so check it out. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to park in a dry spot so you can see that there's uh, no leakage coming from your vehicle. There's no oil dripping down, nothing like that. If you don't have a dry spot, you can always stick a piece of cardboard underneath there for the night or something. Uh, in the morning, I suggest you also let it run for a little while to see if uh, anything's dripping while it's running. So that's the first thing you want to do. So after you made sure everything was dry, you want to open up your hood. You're going to check your oil, check your training fluid, check your power steering fluid, check your coolant, your brake, brake fluid. You're going to check your washer fluid. Um, if you got a stick, you're going to check your uh, clutch fluid. So you want to make sure everything's all topped off and everything's good for the most part uh, before you start going ahead and checking on anything else. Also, when you're underneath the hood, you're going to want to make sure you check all your wires. You want to check your spark plugs because uh, this is a work truck, guys. You want to make sure it make, keeps making you money and you don't want to be running on uh, less than full power. So now when you're putting your fluids in here and whatever fluids you use, want to make sure you actually look up what your manual says and look up what is good for your truck. Every vehicle is different. You want to put different fluids in different vehicles. You want to go ahead and rotate your tires um, when you actually do your uh, oil change. So that's a good time to rotate your tires. A lot of times they like to cup in this truck, especially if you actually uh, pull a trailer. So I definitely, I rotate them every time I change my oil. When you take your tires off, make sure your brakes are all good. And see if you want to replace any of that stuff. Uh, you want to make sure you're all set when you start um, playing with your tires. After all is said and done, go ahead and check that tire pressure. And check and make sure all your lug nuts are tightened too. And you should be good to go. Um, if you want to do some extra maintenance, go up underneath the truck and see how rusty it is, see how your frame is. You want to see the all general condition of the vehicle that you're actually going to be using. So now if you didn't know, your actual tire pressure and is actually going to be written right on the side of the tire. It'll tell you exactly what you need. Alrighty, so now when you go onto the trailer, first thing I like to look at is the general condition of the tongue. Um, make sure it's not all rusted or anything, any rust spots, scrape it up and uh, throw a little bit of spray paint on there so it doesn't continue to rust. You're going to want to go up to this lock here. You're going to make sure this is pretty up nice and free. I'm going to throw some WD-40 on there in a minute, but that thing needs to be nice and free. I don't think I got that on video. Yeah, that's a little tough. Throw some WD-40. The old timers like to throw grease right up on it. I don't like to because I don't want to deal with grease all on my hitch all the time and grease all over my hands, but that's a surefire way of keeping that nice and uh, lubricated. You're going to want to make sure these chains, there's no uh, dents in them or anything like that that are going to break. You're going to make sure they're nice and secure. You want to make sure your trailer lock, ow, damn, that hurt. You want to make sure your trailer lock is loose, that comes out freely. Uh, you're going to check your battery. You're going to check the life on that. You can sit there and put a meter on it. Uh, make sure this goes all the way up and down. Your trailer jack. Sometimes they bend. After a while, you're going to want to replace them. I know people that put electric ones on there, so they just go up and down freely. Um, but yeah, that's what you want to start with the front of the trailer. I also, every time I go through the trailer, you want to make sure all these are in place. Because sometimes they come out and you're going to want to put an, another one in there so it doesn't get a bunch of water and moisture inside there and start to rust. And then suddenly you get rust spots and streaks going down your trailer. So as you go and check down the trailer, you're going to want to make sure all those little rivets are in there. So as you can see, the tread on this tire needs to be replaced. Uh, not the tread on it, but the tire itself needs to be replaced. And... You're going to want to get in here and take these wheels off. 
if you got um, hubs that you can actually grease and have grease fittings, you just stick a grease gun on there and you grease those. If you don't have one, you're going to have to take the hub assembly apart and then grease it manually. Um, they're all different. You're going to check out your carriers. You're going to make sure those are all intact and not dented or broken off in general. Um, you're going to get up underneath there and check that out. You're going to check the overall stability of your frame. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that that's not all twisted or dented. So yeah, you're also, while you're down there, you want to check all your wiring, make sure all your wires are connected and nothing's dragging or disconnected or pretty much eaten away or anything like that or dry rotted. You want to check everything while you're under there, make sure everything just doesn't look out of the ordinary. Uh, check all the bolts on the trailer, make sure everything's nice and tight. Uh, give it a little tighten. Again, going around, checking all those little holes and stuff. Make sure your plate's nice and secure. You're going to want to make sure... Uh, you want to make sure the general condition of your trailer is up to par because these things take a beating on the road. So now, on the inside, you're going to want to make sure you also sweep the floor continuously all the time. You're going to want to make sure you keep your floor nice and clean because that's just going to uh, continuously drag dirt in there. And then back to the back of the trailer, every single time you hook this trailer, not only should you make sure that it's cleaned out completely, but you want to make sure all these lights work on the on the side and the back and all that. Every time you hook up, you want to double check that. So, all so trailer maintenance and vehicle maintenance, it's really important. So if you like that video, check out these ones too. Give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, do it all. Help a brother out.